Hi friends, what's on my mind today? Well, it's very difficult in these times not to have COVID-19 and protests on your mind. Um, and I do try to avoid that, but I'm also a news junkie, so I'm not able to avoid it completely. And it doesn't seem like there's been anything else on the news lately. Um, about the virus, after a couple of months of feeling like we have dodged the bullet here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, in Ahik and Chapala and Hokotepec, it seems like we have now heard the other shoe drop. Uh, I get a lot of questions about how's things going in Mexico, and um, on a personal note, things for me are going very well. But I thought I'd share some news with you today, um, getting some of this out of the uh, Guadalajara Reporter. It's a paper that comes out here locally every Friday, and it's in English. So the headline uh, this week is COVID-19 spread accelerates. Tally in Hokotepec rose from five to nine over the same period with the municipality's first death attributed to the disease. On Monday afternoon, um, and now we're talking about uh, four days ago, ah, my guys are here. Uh, they're taking down my big palm trees today. Anyway, um, there were uh, four new cases in Ahihik itself, and uh, another four in Chapala proper. Three of the new patients are females, and the other eight are males, according to officials. Two of them are minors, one male and one female, uh, in the 10 to 14 age range. Uh, the next story is five-month-old baby succumbs to coronavirus. You remember a couple of months ago when this was an old guy's disease and uh, young people weren't worried about it? I heard on the news this morning that the average infection age um, in the United States has gone from 62 down to the age of 37. And uh, I'm going to express my opinion about why that is. This isn't scientific, <laughs> it's just my opinion. My opinion is because 62 year olds are wearing masks and 37 year olds are exercising their constitutional right to be dumb. Uh, I'll be back in a bit. I have to go get my guys started on the trees. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. He's running because Danielle ran into a wasp's nest and they're swarming around him and he's asking for some insect spray.
<laughs> Got them going. Where were we? Oh yeah, masks. Um, speaking of masks, we are in fact having uh, protests about police brutality in Mexico as well. Uh, quite a few protests going on up there in Guadalajara. Um, three officers, police officers, have been detained for beating a guy to death for not wearing a face mask. Um, I'm sure there's more to the story. Uh, what else here? Chapala racks up two murders and one suicide in a single week. Um, without reading the article to you, um, one guy was chased down by a uh, pickup in a motorcycle and shot when they caught up with him. And uh, Another guy was uh, stabbed multiple times and dumped off at the Ahihi Clinic in the middle of the night. And uh, the other guy apparently hung himself at his house. What else going on here? I always feel like I'm cheating if I share the newspaper with you. Um, but the few times that I've done that, um, people seem to appreciate knowing what's going on locally here on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Uh, here's one about uh, coronavirus. Most of the articles are about police brutality and coronavirus, just like when you're watching the news. Governor rejects further openings as infections surge. You know, um, uh, Mexico, well, I don't know about all of Mexico, but Jalisco, the state of Jalisco, is supposed to open up on June 1st, and uh, they've kind of backed off of that and are opening up a few more businesses, but not all of them. Uh, the market, the main market at the plaza in Chapala has gotten a facelift, and um, it's very nice. I hope everybody can go there soon. Uh, Chapala kicks off dengue fever prevention campaign. They go around and gather tires and old buckets and things that might catch rainwater just before the rainy season starts. Speaking of the rainy season, uh, we had a really good rain last night, and uh, we're all hopeful that that is, in fact, the beginning of the rainy season, because we need the beginning of the rainy season. It's been uh, hot and dry here. It always gives me pause to talk about it being hot here in the mountains of Mexico. Because I've been to Arizona. Hot here is 90 degrees with a humidity of like 40%. It's never sticky like it is in the southern parts of the United States or Texas. Um, it doesn't, you don't get that hot, sticky feeling like you do at the beach in Puerto Vallarta or Mazatlan. Oh, ads. I always enjoy how uh, what's going on in the news sometimes significantly affects advertising. Just one of the things that I like to observe. So here we go. Medical insurance, now more important than ever. Uh, a car mechanic, general mechanic, we are open. Don't go out. We'll come get it. <laughs> and this one is why I wanted to talk about it, because I love it. Uh, this is for a plastic surgeon. And it's a Father's Day special. Botox and upper eyelid tuck, 20% cash discount for Father's Day. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> uh, Peter Becky. No. Air travel is possible, but complicated and risky. Yeah, don't we know it? Oh, I like this one. IMSS, that's the uh, one of the government health insurance 
programs here in Mexico. IMSS explores the site for a new clinic in Chapala. And uh, I marked this to talk about because the guy right there, he's pointing to a map of the park. And the exact spot where he's pointing to in the northwest corner of the park is exactly where the volleyball courts are where I played volleyball for 15 years. I don't know if that's good news or bad news. It'll be good news to have another IMSS clinic. Dr. Strong to talk at Open Circle. Dr. Strong is one of the guys that I've looked to about uh, getting real information, local information about the quality of water in um, Lake Chapala. There are those who think that his uh, findings are controversial, but I'm not talking about that today. I just heard a chainsaw start. This is a sad day for me. It's been part of my view for 20 years. And I'm going to miss it. Lynn and I had discussed about what we might put up there, another palm tree or something. I don't know. It, uh, like I said, it's a sad day. on my mind. Death. That's the theme. Death. Dead people at the feet of cops. Dead people from a virus. <sighs> well, death. Trees, uh, most trees live longer than people. Guess I'm the lucky one today. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.